We're experiencing challenging and unprecedented times. Everyone, from governments to companies to families, has been deeply affected by this global pandemic. All across our country, Americans are making prudent and measured adjustments to protect themselves, their families, and their fellow citizens. Tough decisions are being made, often in the context of getting the job done. There are things we simply must continue to do. Everyone is doing their part. Among others, first responders, medical professionals, are all working exhaustively to perform their critical roles. They represent the best of American spirit and they deserve our appreciation. Your Marine Corps is also an organization that continues to perform a role of vital importance to the nation. Welcome. We also can't stop doing what we do. Especially now, America's Marines are forward deployed, reassuring friends and deterring adversaries. In order to ensure our current and future effectiveness, we must protect the well-being and safety of our most precious resource, our people. Right now, nowhere are we more focused on getting it right than at our recruiting stations and recruit training depots, where young volunteers from across the country are taking on the challenge of becoming Marines. We're an all-volunteer force. For our Corps to remain ready to do what we do, we rely on young people of character, volunteers who exhibit grit and a fighting spirit, who want to be part of an elite team. We are compliant with CDC's guidelines by social distancing, remaining six feet apart in groups less than 10. We're also doing temperature checks and additional screening to ensure they have not come in contact with anyone with COVID-19. We're being innovative, utilizing social media through virtual means to keep families and prospects informed before they go to recruit training. We're also asking them to self-isolate for 14 days before leaving to recruit training. It's imperative to preserve the training pipeline to make sure that we can get all of these recruits through without any illness. We take an abundance of caution upon their arrival to put them in an area of staging for 14 days. We have a very robust medical team continually assessing whether or not symptoms are developing. They're checking for fevers in the mornings and in the afternoons. And as those things begin to develop, we would rapidly identify that and then move them into an isolation status. We have a medical force that's ready and poised to ensure that the health and well-being of these recruits are preserved throughout the entirety of their time in training. This is not business as usual. We have to think, act, and operate differently to protect our Marines, their families, our recruits, and the communities where we live. For the time being, shipping numbers have been cut in half to ensure that we can maintain CDC requirements and properly care for those entrusted to us. We make Marines and it's our promise to this great nation. It's a challenge and mission and it falls directly upon the shoulders of our recruiters, our drill instructors, our corpsmen, our chaplains. It has a large impact to everyone associated with entry-level training and it's also a heavy burden upon the families as well. Um, I'm very proud of their commitment. I'm proud of their sacrifice. We're learning, we're adapting quickly, and we will continue to do so to ensure that each young man or woman that we ship to Paris Island, San Diego, and Quantico gets a healthy start in their quest to becoming a United States Marine. As a drone instructor, we're entrusted with the overall care of recruits the moment they step foot on the island. The situation that we're in with coronavirus, that's more important than anything else. We're implementing safety precautions to and from different training events implementing social distancing, making sure that recruits are wearing their face masks, continue to wash their hands. We are meeting what we're supposed to do as drone instructors, which is to basically train Marines, but also making sure that their safety is top priority. The Marine Corps is known to, to never give up, to be resilient. And this is another factor that shows that we are not only resilient, but we adjust on the fly and we make it happen. Being ready is more than something that we say. It's the foundation of our purpose. It's the expectation of every Marine. In order to stay ready, we will continue to find, make, and train United States Marines. Our recruiters, drill instructors, corpsmen, and training teams are doing tremendous work and safely adapting to meet this threat. Especially in times of uncertainty, the nation needs its Marine Corps on duty. Across our Corps, Marines are doing what is necessary 
to accomplish the mission and take care of each other in these unprecedented times. So whether you're a serving Marine, a veteran Marine, or part of our extended Marine Corps family, thank you for your courage and commitment. Semper Fidelis.